Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kevin Jackwitz. This is the Cage Review, and continuing on with my X Men series of movies and their reviews, of course, we have finally come to Deadpool, the Deadpool movie review. Uh, we got Deadpool Once Upon a Time in X Men Origins Wolverine, and it pissed every Deadpool fan off. It was, it just pissed people off in general. It sucked all the way around. So, Ryan Reynolds had been fighting for like 10 years to get this movie off the ground, and finally, he got it. He got Tim Miller to direct the movie, which I thought was phenomenal. Now, the main cast really isn't that big. You have Ryan Reynolds as Wade Willis from Deadpool, Marina Baccarin as Vanessa Carlisle, who actually is copycat in the comics. Uh, you have Karen Sony as Depender, Ed Screen plays Francis Freeman or Ajax, Brianna Hildebrand plays Ellie Feimister or Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and she was absolutely great too. Her and uh, Ryan Reynolds, like some of the back and forth they had were phenomenal in this movie. You had Stephanie Kapichik, uh voices Peter Rasputin, Colossus. Gina Carano plays Angel Dust. T.J. Miller plays Jack Hammer or Weasel. So, you finally get a proper Deadpool. And I gotta say, man, I loved every second of this movie. And I really loved how they started out with like current day Deadpool. You got this big fight scene. And then you do have some flashbacks to explain um why there's this big fight scene happening and why deadpool is after ajax and you find out that um wade wilson he had cancer he was basically checking out and so this guy recruits him and gives him a chance to heal himself and that's where ajax comes in and does the testing on wade wilson but of course ajax is just a sadistic fuck and kind of tortures wade wilson and so uh, Wade Wilson has his vendetta against Ajax. And also, they have this like little love interest going here with Vanessa Carlisle. Uh, they meet up at this little uh, mercenary hangout uh, that is run kind of by Weasel. And so these two meet, they get it on. It's a hilarious relationship. And honestly, the love interest could have been really... Uh, the worst part of the movie if they hadn't made it so fucking great between uh, Deadpool himself and Vanessa Carlisle. They absolutely killed it. It was hilarious. It was irreverent. Everything that you want to see in the Deadpool movie. And so at one point you have Ajax. He kidnaps Vanessa. Wade Wilson has to get her back. He assembles this little team made with Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Um... And they're facing off against Ajax and Angel Dust. And it was really well done. I really loved every second of it. I mean, the, the concept was pretty concise, pretty simple. I mean, but it was executed perfectly. Uh, and with all the comedy you had in this movie, the script was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, it had you laughing beginning to end. Literally from the opening credits, you knew what you were in for. All the way through the rest of the movie, you were laughing your ass off. If you had any sense of humor whatsoever. It was just that good. And I had the time of my life, really. And another really great thing they did is, uh, even in the comics, Deadpool, the character, is known for breaking the fourth wall and talking to the audience. And, uh, you know, talking to them like anybody in our world would. And kind of poke fun at himself or other characters in the comics. And they do that in the movie, and I thought that was really a great touch. So, of course, at the end of the day, Deadpool saves Vanessa, he kills Ajax, and there you go. But, like I said, sounds simple, but the execution was phenomenal. Uh, the action was very fast-paced at times, and it really kept you invested. And if you weren't invested in the action, you were definitely invested in the relationship between Vanessa and Wade and the comedy all throughout. And like I said, uh, some of the back and forths between Negasonic Teenage Warhead, who of course is a teenager, go figure. Um, you know, she's got this teenage angst thing going on, a little bit emo. And uh, they play off of that beautifully. And so her and Wade Wilson have some great barbs they throw at each other. So overall, man, um, I don't know that they could have done this movie any better. Uh, I think we all went into this with reservations after what we saw from the first version of Deadpool that Fox tried. It was an abomination. And then they come out with this, and they definitely save some face, in my opinion. Um, and you know, because of what this movie is, it's not um, 
going to be a classic, but it is an amazing job for what they were trying to do. I think it exceeded everybody's expectations. So I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. That's how strongly I feel about it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's where I'm at. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jackowitz, Cage Nation, out.